Did you get him in there yet? Or are you gonna try? Nah, not yet. Let's see. 1980 K20 pickup. Swapping the grills. I didn't see any videos on this, so I'm gonna make it real quick. Let's see. These are in there. Factory. Facing up the bigger part. Get those out. Both sides. Put them on here. These are the ones that these brackets are the ones that come with it. Put one on each side. I'm finding it's easier to put them on there like that. I need to get a fucking uh what's that thing called? Uh GoPro or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. So then they're on the inside. Line up with the holes. Well, damn, I can't see shit in this video. Oh yeah, so there. Line up with the holes on each side. Like, don't fucking tighten these yet. Yeah. Just get them a little tight on there, but you might have to adjust them by pushing them in or out so it can reach the ends right there. And then just put your uh, factory bolts back that came off the other braces back on there. And it'll be good. So, um,. Yeah, curve parts up, facing up the hood. Oh, it curves up right there, face up towards the hood. And uh, don't tighten these right away. Just put them finger tight. That way, once you get them in, oh, like I said, you got to take those brackets off first. Or these ones for these ones to fit in there. I thought these ones had a. I thought this grill screwed into the old brackets, but they don't. And then yeah, just put those bolts on finger tight, just so you can adjust it as you put it in. And then you could see the holes line up and like you could see like how those notches are like it's squared on top but on the bottom like here it has a curve so it fits in there like that and i mean i guess it would be somewhat ideal to take off your um take out your radiator that way you can screw these in maybe reach your hand around but i don't want to do that because i'm lazy so i'm just gonna stick my uh extension through here and then um, obviously have it out, stick the extension through, and then put the socket on the other side because it won't fit through here. I think it's a 11. And then um, I'm just gonna push it in there, tighten it up where it goes. And then I'm just gonna pull the extension back. So the extension or the socket will, fuck, will fall through the ground. And then I'll be able to get it out like that. And then we'll be on. I know this is a pretty dramatic extension, um, but I mean, you can use any one you have. I think like a normal, well, decent normal size one would work. Probably like um, a foot, maybe even smaller. So this is a half inch. So yeah, what I was saying about doing this is, we'll see that, all right, just, just to show you guys, half inch socket, it won't fit through these bars and I don't want to bend them because that's going to look ugly. So I was thinking, you could put it in there like that, and then attach the, the socket on the back side. This is a quarter inch. Where's our half inch? Where'd it go? That's a half inch in a net 13. Yeah. Attach it in like that. Now it's in like that. And then once you're done, just pull it through kind of hard so the socket falls off. Get her in there like that. Let's set the phone down real quick just to get it started. Already. So it's been a few seconds. Like I said, I fished it through. And then I got the first one started in there. There you go. Money. And it's in there, but it's not all the way in there. Um, obviously, don't tie it all the way because you're going to have to pull this back to get your other bolt in there and get it started but yeah see, but this is kind of how the finished product's gonna look not bad kind of wish it was like more hidden but looks nice such so uh then we'll jump back on the video when uh, they're all in 
But yeah, like I said, just fish that through on the other side first and then clip it on there and then go ahead and put it in there. Okay, real quick on um, how you pull out action. All right, get it close. I win. Yeah, see the sockets right there? Just pull it in. Falls right out. And then just do the same thing. Get your socket up. Like I said, I don't tighten them all the way. Grab your other bolt. Stick your thing through. And then just pull, pull up gently on that. Then we'll see what happens. All right, so mess up on my part, but not. So yeah, same thing like I said. Stick the extension through first with the socket and the bolt attached to it. And then um, pull it out slowly. Um, I probably should have did the bottoms first. That way the top can lean out a little bit more because the bottom's in there tight. But I did figure out a little way to go around it. So I don't know this. Like I said, this is a 1980 pickup. And um, mine has like these little vent holes. Um, I stick a cold air intake tube through this. But it was too restrictive. So it didn't really work. But I found if you put your extension in here and lean it upwards like that towards the hole and then you go to this side with your socket you just push it in and then put your bolt through and then you see these these will make sure your, your things on the opposite side of though that way once you get in there from it going all the way to the top you slide it sideways go in and screw her up nice all right so for this side like i mentioned on the other side how there's a bigger hole um i think mine's is actually supposed to be up there but that thing's covering it but there is that little hole right there i don't know if you can see it down there yeah a little baby hole so yeah just put it up sideways lock her in pull her back make sure it's on this side of the bar this time so you can swing it this way and then go in with it You're tightened up. Spin it from here and then connect it. That'll be it. All right, this is the old hood or the old grill. This is the after. Not bad.